Famine is much more than hunger. Malnutrition itself is deadly, especially in infants and young children, whether they are dying from the starvation or from preventable diseases that weaken their bodies, which cannot fight off infections. Children's education is affected because they cannot go to school when they are hungry. Conflict spreads in famine areas and other places where food resources are scarce. People are displaced from their homes and lose their means of earning a living. The children who do survive famine will live with the consequences for the rest of their lives. Their growth will be stunted and they will be at greater risk of dying from future illnesses. They also tend to have a higher risk of having underweight or premature children, passing these consequences to future generations. Three conditions need to be met before famine is declared. One, one in every five households in a certain area must face extreme food shortages. Two, more than 30% of the population of a given area is acutely malnourished. And three, at least two of every 10,000 people die each day. Once a famine is declared, it is usually too late. Children are already dying and the situation is already devastating. But every life matters. No child should die of hunger. The international community helped to avoid famine in East Africa in 2017 because it took early action. We need millions of dollars urgently to scale up our response. We began with giving them immediate assistance through distributing cash. If the public support us, if we get more partners to come on board, we can reach out to this community and give it more access to food. Uh, we can at least uh, provide immediate health assistance to ensure that at least no child dies in this community because of lack of food or lack of water.